విశాఖ స్టీల్ ప్లాంట్ ముప్పై రెండు మంది అమూల్య త్యాగ ఫలంతో సాధించుకున్నది అటువంటి విశాఖ స్టీల్ ను మోడీ ప్రభుత్వం అంబానీలకు అదానీలకు కార్పొరేట్ సెక్టార్లకు అమ్మాలని చూస్తే ఊరుకునేది లేదని అఖిల భారత రక్షణ రంగం ఉద్యోగుల ఫెడరేషన్ ప్రధాన కార్యదర్శి శ్రీకుమార్ హెచ్చరించారు విశాఖ స్టీల్ కార్మికులకు చేపడుతున్న దీక్షలో పాల్గొని సంఘీభావం తెలిపిన శ్రీకుమార్ ఇలా అన్ని ప్రభుత్వ రంగ సంస్థను ప్రైవేట్ పరం చేస్తే యువతకు ఉపాధి అవకాశాలు ఉండవని దేశ ఆర్థిక వ్యవస్థ కుంటుపడుతుందని ఆవేదన వ్యక్తం చేశారు కార్యక్రమంలో యూనియన్ నాయకులు డి ఆదినారాయణ జె అయోధ్యారాం తదితరులు పాల్గొన్నారు I have come all the way from Chennai to sit with the Vishakapatnam steel plant struggling workers and extend my support on behalf of the 4 lakh defense civilian employees for the historical struggle which the Vishakapatnam steel plant workers are now doing for the past more than almost one year. The farmers, Kisan of this country, fought against the Modi government's anti-Kisan policies and act passed in the parliament. for more than one year and after the kisan movement now which is the vishakhapatnam steel workers movement which is going to be a historical movement in the country the modi government has decided to sell out the vishakhapatnam steel plant so far as the vishakhapatnam steel plant is concerned it is a sentimental issue for the andhra people because vishakhapatnam steel plant has come because of the people's movement people have sacrificed their life More than 36 people died throughout Andhra Pradesh and 11 people from Vishakhapatnam itself. 18,000 people are displaced. Their land has been given. Their grandfather's land, forefather's land has been given for constructing this Vishakhapatnam steel plant. But the Modi government wanted to sell out this public sector undertaking to Ambani's and Adani's and private corporates. We cannot accept this. because the present policy of the government is to corporatize government department railway is corporatized defense ordinance factories are corporatized only with the move to privatize one of the public sector central electronics limited which is having more than 5000 crores worth of land and 5000 crore worth of plant and machineries modi government has those of 10 crore ke liye bejne ke liye hai lekin udhar ka worker fight kiya they went to the court and government is forced to withdraw farmers have fought government is forced to withdraw so the public sector which is the economy of the country which is the national asset of the country we cannot allow modi government to sell out for all these things in a throw away price to favor its friends in the private corporate therefore the struggle of the indian working class the struggle of the trade unions to save public sector to save defense sector to save railways will continue and we are confident with our united struggle modi government has to withdraw all its anti paper decision of this country thank you